have Target, you know, discernibly, absolutely swirling down the economic toilet, you really can't survive like this for very long. They get propped up, you know, by infusions of cash, by institutions like BlackRock and everything else. You're wondering how CNN survives with no viewers. That's how they survive. So here's Walmart now, I guess. And, and the title of this is, I guess Walmart didn't learn from Target. Look at what Walmart's up to now. Play for me, Will. Queer people have magic that we can share. We're lucky enough to be in the Walmart Pride collection this year. Total dream come true. It's not every day that I see my products in a Walmart. It's important to me to share my art. No one can make the art that you make. No one can say the things the way you say them. There's a lot of opportunity to uplift with a bit of playfulness and imperfection. The world needs to hear what you have to say and your story. And that's the Libs of TikTok video. And I just show you these things now. Am I still stop shopping at Walmart? I'm never going to lie to you. And we still shop at Walmart. Okay, am I going to continue to shop at Walmart? Yeah. We have Publix here. We have Walmart. We get about, I'd say, about half roughly of our food. Well, we get more all, all you know, more products probably from Walmart, maybe half of our food from, from Publix. I don't know. My wife does all that. But I'm not going to be. But what we need to do is be paying attention to this. When you have uh, companies like Public Square pop up, we all need to be looking into the alternative economy, yeah. the parallel economy, and buy products wherever we can. It's not possible right now. It's just like it's not possible to transition to all electric cars because the infrastructure isn't there. It isn't possible, and, nor which, and of course, you know how I feel about electric vehicles, all bull crap. But we can't, we can't do a whole, a, a complete transition into companies that don't hate us right now. We're going to have to shop at companies that hate us. But when you have a Patriot Mobile, Midas Gold, like you know, my sponsor, and you know, you have these companies that are absolute MAGA companies. And when you have like Patriot, you have Patriot Mobile or Public Square, Public Square basically is trying to become our Amazon. Yeah. We're going to have to have our Amazon. We're going to have to have all our Walmart. We're going to have to have our movie theaters. Now, in our movie theaters, we'll show any left hard movie. We're, we're not like that. It's like Rumble. Anybody, Gavin Newsom has a Rumble channel. Yep. We are more, you're more than welcome. We're not, we're not, we, we actually operate by the Bill of Rights. Anybody, if, if left hards want to do business on Public Square, they're more than welcome. But we're not welcome to do business um, in, in, their, in, in their various entities. I just stumbled upon this last night because I was up at the Shout Conference at Rodney Howard Brown. Rodney Howard Brown who got arrested for keeping his church open for code. He's my pastor, River Church in Tampa. It's a mega church, thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon people going there, 5,000 plus for the conference alone. And I just found out, Aaron, this will be interesting to you, mm. Their push pay account, they've been locked out of their push pay account. Jeez. And now they're having to look at, at how they're going to get the $500,000 they have in their push pay account back. Jeez. Because they're refusing to release that to them. Wow. That's push pay. PayPal is the same way. Wow. PayPal, remember this. I know I've talked about it probably a dozen times already. But PayPal was locking accounts for hate speech and keeping people's money. Mm -hmm. they, were, they weren't even keeping people's money. They were finding them. $2,800 of your push pay of your uh, PayPal money. Yep. And then they said it was a mistake. Remember that? Remember all this works? They said it was a mistake. And then about 36 hours later, they said it wasn't a mistake <laughs> and that they are enforcing it. How do you go from that? They're like, it was totally a mistake that we're locking people out of their accounts and keeping $2,800 of their money. They say it's a mistake. And then 36 hours later, because it was between podcasts, came back because it was like a Tuesday to a Thursday or a Thursday to a Saturday or a Saturday to a Tuesday. They came back and said, oh, you know what? We are doing that for hate speech. So they were, they were actually, this is just a payment platform. I'm finally learning some terminology. I'm learning from Aaron. <laughs> a payment platform that actually keeps your money. We, we have to go to alternative. We have to. It's just like everybody, if you're watching on Facebook right now, I tell you, there's 620 people that are watching right now. You're probably thinking, that's bull crap. There's not 620 people watching. Because there's only 58 people or, or 12 people or 40 people, whatever it is, yeah. on Facebook that are watching. Or you're watching on YouTube. There's not that many people watching. Well, we have a couple of different platforms. We're live right now on Twitter, which we already have anybody watching on Twitter. And Twitter's just transitioning into being a parallel economy platform. But Facebook has done nothing. I, I told you this. In my first week of doing the podcast, we were 900 live on Facebook. Yeah, 900 live on Facebook. When we would leave the studio, we, all we, there was no rumble then. Yep. When we would leave the studio, we'd have thirty to thirty-five thousand views. On those are legit views. Yeah. Twitter views are not real views. I love Twitter, but they're not real views. 
There's kind of they're like they're glimpses or they're just just scroll by scroll by scroll by shootings. Yeah, three That's seconds. All they are. Yeah. What, what you say? Three second views. Yeah, three second views. They don't count. These yeah. are Facebook views. You actually had to. So I mean, they and plus I'm watching the live. Then we got banned. We put out little videos on Facebook. It'd be fifty thousand people. I mean, it'd be getting a thousand views an hour, and then they ban us. All right. So we have to have a parallel economy. Thank God Rumble came along, or I'd be done. Yeah. I've already been. I've had a, the church is a lifetime ban. We just created another account. So screw, screw, screw tube, YouTube. Mm -hmm. They banned us for life for using the word ivermectin. And everything that I said about ivermectin is now turned to be turned out to be true. And it's just like how Biden wants to tax you. Remember, Biden wants to tax you now. If he, if, he, if, if Biden wins, he's going to tax you for non cashed in capital gains. So if, you're, if your house goes from, you're wondering what the parallel is between that and YouTube, I'll show you. So if, you, if your house gains in value, your house is worth 500000 now, and by the end of 2025, it, it's worth, uh, what did I say? <laughs> it's worth, worth $500,000 now, and by the end of 2025, it's worth $600,000, you'll pay, pay tax on $100,000, even if you didn't sell it. <laughs> now, if it retros back to being 510000 do you get a rebate on the 90000 no. No, it's the same thing with YouTube. I turned out to be correct on every last thing I said. Yep. But I'm still banned for life. And these are these are church videos that go back to 2005. Yep. They've they've kept all of our stuff. Yep. This is a basic art because YouTube wasn't bad. This back when Alex Jones was allowed to be. Imagine not being allowed to be on a platform in the United States of America. You know, like they're a private company, they can do whatever they want. No, they can't. Not when they get, not when, not when they get. Exemptions. Not when they get liability platform exemptions. Under what is it? 203? 230. 230. Under yep. under section. statutes uh, was a session section 230 yep. of this of the federal statutes. Section uh, section 230, they get exemptions. So they're not allowed to ban you for for speech. Or they have to transition into being a publisher, like the New York Times, where they are held accountable for what people put in their editorial section. Yep. 